Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out another micro here. This is the Ghoul RC G80 Pro from RC Moment. And it's a little bit different looking than some of the micros that I've been reviewing lately. Uh, got these nice carbon fiber prop guards on the outside and, and they, it's a pretty decent size. I think it's about one millimeter thick so should hold up to some bashing pretty easily. And you got these little extensions here from the motors that hold the side of the prop guards on. And I like this uh, little roll bar cage design here in the front that kind of protects the camera. Not sure how much of that's going to be in the view. It looks like it's probably not going to show up too much in the view. Got some two inch five bladed props. Uh, might be 1935 props. And got some 1102 10,000 kV motors and these are Google RC branded. So some smaller lighter motors. Uh, I think this should be an overall lighter set. I'll give a little weight measurement a little bit later. You get an all-in camera here. Um, it's the VM2751. So you got the uh, camera and video transmitter there, and I think that's 25 milliwatts only. You got a buzzer in the back here with some LEDs. Uh, we're running a JST connector here, and then the flight stack is going to be the Flycolor Raptor S, I believe. It's the uh, SP Racing F3 board here. It's 20 by 20. Uh, I think it's going to come with a MWOSD like on the KLEX90 and then the ESC is going to be a 4-in-1 12 amp ESC and I believe that's uh, BLLES so it should be running DSHOT 600 and here's a look at the bottom and you got some, looks like you got some Google RC branding on there probably a sticker it looks like, I'm not, yeah I think that's a sticker that looks like uh, an H-frame, I'm not sure yeah, uh, it shouldn't be too easy, it shouldn't be too hard to take this prop guard off if you want to just fly it uh, without the prop guard. It looks like a standard frame here. You just have to uh, remove the uh, motor uh, screws and probably use some different screws because you're going to be removing this part here, get rid of this part, and then you should be able to take the prop guard off and unscrew the, uh, these standoffs here. And you should have a pretty light setup for if you just want to fly it outside only. Let's see how much this thing weighs. It's 57.8 grams, and so a lot of that weight is probably going to be in the prop guards here and these little extensions, that carbon fiber. And we'll throw in the battery here together. This is uh, the battery it comes with. It's a uh, 452S 30C battery. And then altogether it's 85 grams, so it's not too bad. So the rest of the stuff that comes with the package is just a spare set of props, and then you get a USB 2S LiPo charger along with the battery, so it's pretty compact setup here, not a whole lot that comes in the box. So one thing I did forget to mention is that this doesn't come with a receiver, you'll have to add your own. It does come with this four pin connector on here, but it may not fit your receiver. If that's the case, then uh, you'll probably need to get in here and desolder this these set of wires here and then connect up your own uh, connector for your particular receiver. Probably something like uh, XM Plus will be good for Free Sky and then for Fly Sky. You know, some of the micro receivers like the RX 2A Pro or the FS82 would work just fine in this case. Okay, so this is the flight demo, and uh, I did try to fly this inside my house, and that didn't go too well because this thing is actually pretty fast, and so I decided to go ahead and fly this at the park. Uh, I, this is really meant for indoor flying, I think, because it is. This has the prop guards, and it's a little bit smaller setup with the uh, 1.7 inch props, kind of like the DYS Elf. But this is a lighter setup, so um, it's actually quite a bit faster than the Elf. And so, uh, if you're getting this for an indoor space, I would suggest uh, trying flying it in a larger indoor space because it is pretty fast. Anyway, um, I didn't do any beta flight flashing or configuring this. I just uh, took the stock flash and tune and flew it, and it flies just fine. Uh, nothing special here. You know, it's it's not really a rocket ship. It's kind of, it's, but it's pretty fast for its size. Um, it's a stock tune and I just added my receiver and just flew it here and it I think it's a, it's a pretty good flyer I think you guys will enjoy it yeah, I think this is like one of those kind of relaxing type flyers not really a super fast flyer it's not really that acrobatic although you can do flips and rolls with it I, I don't personally would, would want to fly this acrobatically because it just flies on 2s I'm not really sure if this thing goes 3s it might but I I don't think the motors are able to handle. They're kind of small motors, 1102 motors. So I would stick with um, 2S on here, and the JST connector is just fine for the setup. I have no brownouts or 
flips to death uh, while I was flying this. So if you guys are looking for sort of a docile, kind of relaxing park cruiser flyer, this, I think this might be it. Um, I don't think necessarily this is going to be a good beginner flyer because I think if you crash a lot, I'm not 100% sure this frame is that durable because the, the prop guard are kind of thin. The main plate is a little bit on the thin side. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be able to handle most, uh, you know, bumps and uh, you know, minor crashes and stuff like that. Should should, should be just fine. But if you're a beginner and tend to, you know, crash pretty hard into stuff, concrete, um, trees, whatever, this might not be the best one for you because it is. I think that's, they're trying to save a little bit of weight on the frame, so um, it does make it a little bit weaker, but also makes it a bit lighter and a little bit more speedy. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.